Have you ever heard a sound so eerie it chills you to the bone? Have you ever felt eyes on you when no one's there? What if I told you there's a place, not far from the city, where these feelings are more than just your imagination, where something ancient, something monstrous lurks in the shadows? Well, let me tell you, there's a tale out near Louisville that folks round here whisper about, a story of the Pope Lick monster. Some say it's a myth, just an old ghost story, but others, well, others ain't so sure. Before we dive deeper into this chilling tale, I want to take a moment to welcome y'all to Scary Stories from Kentucky, where we bring you the creepiest legends, haunts, and mysteries from the Bluegrass State. If you love a good ghost story, you're in the right place. Every week, we unravel the spine-tingling folklore that has been whispered around Kentucky campfires for generations. Now, before you brush this off as just another scary story, let me ask you, would you be brave enough to climb up on an old railroad trestle in the dead of night, knowing that some who go up never come back down? Would you risk hearing that bone-chilling bleat of the creature they call the Pope Lick Monster? Let's take a ride back in time, back to when this legend first took root in the blood-soaked soil of Kentucky. The story goes that in the late 1800s, a traveling circus came through the hills, winding its way down from Indiana. This wasn't just any circus, though. No, this one had an attraction so twisted, so unnatural, that even the circus folk kept it locked away. Behind iron bars, hidden from the light of day, was a creature born of dark magic or some ungodly union, a freak they called the Goat Man. It's said that one stormy night that a circus train derailed near Pope Lick Creek, sending carriages tumbling into the gorge. In the chaos, the Goat Man escaped. But instead of fleeing far away, he found himself drawn to the dark woods and that towering railroad trestle that loomed like a portal to another world. Some folks think the trestle itself is cursed, that it's a place where dark forces linger. And that's where the creature, now known as the Pope Lick Monster, made its home. Half man, half goat, with twisted horns and eyes as black as the night, it hides beneath the trestle watching, waiting. At first, people didn't believe it, just as stories passed down from moonshiners and trappers, right? But then, the disappearances started. They were quiet at first. A hiker gone missing, a farmer's boy never returning home. But those who knew the hills, the folks who lived close to that trestle, they started to notice something darker. You see, the Pope Lick monster isn't just lurking there like some wild animal. Oh, no. They say it can call to you. It gets inside your head, makes you want to go up to that trestle. Some hear its voice in their dreams, others in their waking hours. It's a low, guttural bleat, like a goat's cry, but twisted. Unnatural, like it's calling you home. And once it has you... Once that sound gets under your skin, there's no resisting. They say the monster waits until you're up there on the tracks, 90 feet above the ground. Then, just as you realize you're trapped, you hear the whistle. It's a freight train, barreling down the line. You freeze, fear gripping you tight. Do you jump? Do you run? Either way, the monster wins. Over the years, too many young souls have fallen victim to that cursed place. Locals know better than to go near it, especially at night. But every so often, some thrill-seeker hears the stories and thinks they'll be the one to outsmart the Pope Lick monster. A lot of them don't make it back. Now, old Zeke, who's lived by Pope Lick Creek for over 60 years, swears he saw the creature himself. Said he was out hunting one foggy morning when he heard it, the bleating sound coming from the trestle. 
At first, he thought it was just a wild goat that had wandered too close to the bridge. But then he saw something moving in the fog, something big and quick. It was tall, with legs like a man's, but covered in thick, matted fur. And those horns twisted like the branches of an old oak tree. Zeke didn't wait around to see more. He ran faster than he ever had in his life, and he ain't been back since. But Zeke's not the only one. There have been other sightings. People who swear they saw the creature watching from the shadows beneath the trestle or walking along the tracks late at night. Some say it's just a figment of our imaginations, a story born of fear and isolation in these old hills. But what if it's more? What if there's truth to the tale? Now, the most terrifying thing about the Pope Lick Trestle isn't just the monster lurking in the shadows. It's the undeniable fact that people have died up there. This isn't just some ghost story meant to scare the kids. There's a real and deadly history tied to that bridge, one soaked in tragedy. The trestle sits over 90 feet above the ground, and there's no walkway or safe passage. Yet, despite the danger, folks, mostly young thrill-seekers, have dared to climb it. Some say they were trying to prove the legend wrong. Others may have been lured by the very call the Pope Lick Monster itself. Over the years, several lives have been lost. In 1986, a young boy fell to his death while trying to outrun a train on the trestle. More recently, in 2016, another young woman tragically lost her life when she was struck by an oncoming train while investigating the legend herself. Each year, the stories of tragedy pile up, but the pull of the legend remains strong. Now, some folks believe these deaths are accidents, plain and simple, a result of poor judgment. But the old-timers, well, they've got a different theory. They say the Pope Lick monster doesn't just haunt the bridge. It controls it. That the creature's power isn't just in its presence, but in its ability to reach into your mind, cloud your thoughts, and make you freeze at just the wrong moment. And that's how it takes its victims. One thing is certain, the trestle has claimed lives, and if you're brave or foolish enough to walk up there, you're taking your chances not just with the trains, but with something far more sinister. So, if you ever get the urge to see if the Pope Lick monster is real, remember this. Many who've gone looking for the truth didn't live to tell their tale. So, the next time you find yourself out near Pope Lick Creek, take heed of the warnings. If you hear that low, haunting bleat carried on the wind, don't follow it. Turn back. And whatever you do, don't go up on that trestle. Now, I want to know, what do you think? Is a Pope Lick monster just an old Kentucky ghost story? Or could there be something more sinister lurking in the shadows of that railroad bridge? Have you or someone you know ever been out to the trestle? If you have, we'd love to hear about it. Leave a comment or share your story with us. And hey, if you enjoy hearing eerie tales like this one, be sure to check out our other stories on the Scary Stories from Kentucky podcast. We've got legends, ghost stories, and hauntings from all over the bluegrass state. Kentucky is full of mysterious and haunted places just waiting to be discovered. But be careful. You never know what might be lurking in the woods. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you all next time, if you make it back.